this uh, works for those interested. Milk carton or gallon jug that I've cut look like this. So put it over the skull that I have mounted on this body form just because it's easier to have it mounted on something. Heat gun, bucket of water with ice in it, and a sponge. Very, very cold. Take the heat gun. Basically, you're just heating up the plastic as best you can. You can kind of tell when the plastic starts to move and when it starts to become a little transparent that that's uh, ready to go. So I always start at the chin because I find that it allows you to um, keep the milk carton in place. So I stop, I take my cold sponge, and the minute the cold sponge hits the melted plastic, it immediately hardens. So now I've got this in place so that it's not going to slide around that much and I can start doing all the other areas. So I usually go with the teeth next. I don't know if you can see where it's getting kind of transparent in those places. And you can't do too big of an area at once. So I just mold it around the teeth. Any place that I see that it's clear, I hit it with that cold sponge and it immediately hardens. And then usually what I end up doing next is the nose the eye sockets because that holds it in place as well. Then I'll end up turning it on its side and I use these two little weights. I turn it on its side like this, push the little weights in there to kind of keep everything uh, immobile. Do the sides, press it around the uh, joints on the mouth. And then I usually melt it to right about here because if you go too much further back then it molds to the head too much and you can't get it off when it's time. So do all that part. And then when I'm done with that, set it up like this. And you can see it's just a skull that I've attached to this uh, body form using hot glue and other glues. So it's pretty sturdy on there. Then you heat up the top. Um, the top usually will, I, I just let it melt into it as much as I can. Um, I keep the heat gun on it for as long as I need to. And it'll melt down and then I'll just sponge over it. And then when I'm done, I just pull it off and uh, Usually what I do is I take the scissors and I cut up this top part here all the way to about here so that it comes off easier. Kind of get your hand up in there and pull it off that way. Um, sometimes it comes off really easy, sometimes it takes a while to get it off. Okay, so I'm going to show you the top that I was talking about, which by the way, I do all this on the floor. To me, it's easier to sit on the floor and I'm right at the right level. Um, that's something that you kind of have to work out for yourself as to what's the most comfortable for you to do. But I don't want to have to raise my arm all day, so I like sitting down on the floor like this and I can keep everything kind of uh, at the right level. So for the head, basically you can kind of see right now, he looks, he has like a Frankenstein head right now. Um, so what you end up doing, I'm going to try turning it a little bit this way so you can see a little better, but um, I kind of... The, the heat gun has a little bit of blow to it as well, kind of like a blow dryer almost. So it gets to a point where you can kind of melt it and it will also blow the stuff forward a little bit. So I don't know if you can see on there where it's starting to melt down and kind of go forward a little. Um, so you end up with some really weird wrinkles on the, I guess, forehead of the skull, but like I said, in the end, it's not really going to matter, and it kind of makes each one look unique. The bad thing is trying not to get horns. <laughs> so if you, if you do it a certain way, you're going to end up with little horns right there, so you got to be kind of careful with that. Um, but it, I don't know if you can see just how much that's, that's melting around there. Um, And so now that that's really, really melted, I'm going to give it a little extra 
shove there. Kind of mold it a little bit around the skull. So like I said, you end up with these weird little wrinkles in there sometimes, but again, I just don't think it, I don't think it looks bad and I don't think it's going to read, especially as far away as I'm doing it, uh, since I'm doing it, something that somebody's going to see from the street, which is, you know, good 30 feet away from what this is, where this is going to be. Um, then I don't think it's really going to matter that much. And so that's, I mean, I'm almost completely done now. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit more back here just to get this a little flatter. Um, because when I cut this, you'll see how I finish it up. Um, this is not gonna matter. And then the same with the jaws down here. This is not gonna matter when I'm done. I'm gonna bend that down or melt that down to kind of give the skull a, a, a complete, look and what I'm using these for is um, I'm gonna be doing a, a wall and so they're gonna be um, they're gonna have like polyfoam or, or uh, great stuff or something like that inside of them and the back of them is not really gonna be seen um, so for my needs the back doesn't really have to be finished off um, and there you go, that's pretty much everything right there. Now, uh, I'm gonna let this cool down for just a second, and then when I take it off, I'm gonna um, heat this part and bend it under, and then um, I'm gonna cut this to get it off. So basically, I just take my scissors and just go right up in there like that, um, as far as I can go. And then after it dries a little bit more, or cools down a little bit more, then I'll just pull it off this way. Usually I stick my hand up in here and kind of pull it forward and off. So I'm just gonna use the heat gun. You see the ends here. And I just heat up these ends. And basically what's gonna end up happening is uh, as I heat them, you're gonna notice they start to kind of collapse in on themselves which that's exactly what I want to happen. So I do that on both sides. Take my uh, cold sponge again. And then what I do is I kind of put it up against my metal thing here. Um, and then I push it flat kind of give it a, um, a more flat look down here. And then sometimes what I'll end up doing uh, when I'm done is I'll go through and I'll just trim off. Like if I don't like some, how some of it's poking out or something, I'll just trim it off. And then something else you'll find is that you can actually um, melt the plastic to itself. So um, like on the top part here, I'm gonna get rid of this little um, bowl on the top of his head. And there's, you can see my slit in there where I slid it to take it off of the mold. So what will end up happening is as I heat this up, the uh, two halves will kind of uh, meld into each other or overlap each other. Um, There, kind of heated the whole heated the whole thing up and then um, I'll do basically the same thing I'll kind of first of all push them where I want it to kind of go into each other before I stick it on the um, the metal thing and then I'll stick that there and then when I push it with my wet sponge kind of round it out you can kind of see where um, well this one didn't do it as much but um, a lot of times what will happen is they'll stick together, they'll mold together like that, which is nice. And then usually when I'm done with all of that, I'll take my, um, my cold water and I'll dip the whole thing in the cold water. Uh, just to basically make sure that everything that was melted is, is uh, cooled off and uh, in place and stiff and hard again. Um, 
and then I'll just take my scissors and like I said, I have little spots like that right there that uh, I'll just cut off. Little pointy weirdness. And again, uh, this is not going to show. This back part is not going to show um, once I've mounted them all. Um, so that's basically uh, what you end up with right there.